Well, the season of giving ends for most of us in December, but for organ, organ donors, this is year round. Living donors can dramatically shorten the long wait list for organs and save lives. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon introduces us to a pair of Colorado sisters on both sides of the fight. So this was us a little bit after Grace's uh, cancer treatment. Compared to family pictures. The matching outfits was a frequent torture that we were put through. Grace and Olivia Kuntz are all grown up now. I'm 22, Liv is 25. The sisters, still young, have lived through a lot. Four days before her first birthday, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And I was very sick. They say chemo and radiation at such a young age affected almost every part of Grace's body. It ultimately came up to her requiring a liver transplant. Olivia felt it was something she could do to help. It didn't feel like a huge decision. It was just kind of something that I felt called to do. But near the end of her evaluation, doctors learned Olivia's liver wouldn't work for Grace. If I can't do this for Grace, is there any way that I could do this and take away this anxiety for a different family. In March of 2022, Olivia still chose to donate part of her liver anonymously to a baby she never met. Do you think growing up and watching what your little sister went through contributed to your decision to still go ahead and donate? I mean, I think that a lot of things in our life um, are like building blocks for preparing us for what comes next. As much as like I also wanted to help that baby, I can recognize what that means for the whole family. Meanwhile, Grace ended up getting her own liver transplant in the summer of 2022. Grace is a spunky, awesome young woman who brings joy to my visit every time I get to see her. Dr. Amy Feldman, who's in charge of the liver transplant program at Children's Hospital Colorado, says because they offer living donation, wait times are decreased dramatically. For children, the national average for a liver is to wait about eight months. Here at Children's Colorado, our average wait time is two months. Their partnership with UC Health at the University of Colorado Anschutz campus means any person who comes forward to donate part of their liver anonymously will be offered to a child. First. We are the leader in the country for pediatric living donor liver transplant. And what it means to be a donor. This poem is called Sign, Sealed, Delivered. Is summed up best. A countdown anticipated from two sides. Through a poem written by Olivia. Months later, a letter. Sign, sealed, delivered. Envelope opened, hands shaking. Read aloud, voice shaking. Donor now a recipient. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.